let's move over to a more palatable type of artwork. Currently showing at the Grand Rapids Art Museum is a collection of paintings, prints, and drawings that offer up a sweeping survey of American Impressionism. And here to share more on what you might expect when you visit Uela Rodriguez from the Gram. Hi, Uela. Hi, thanks for having me. Absolutely. And of course, American, uh, excuse me, Bank of America president. We've got Renee Tabin. Hi, Renee. How are you? Good morning. Thanks for being here this morning, ladies. Let's talk a little bit about Im Impressionism for those who may not know what that looks like. Let's just start with a really big basic. When, when somebody says Impressionism, what should they picture in their head? Well, generally, I think the people, when they think of Impressionism, tend to think of the French masters from Europe. Um, but this exhibition really celebrates the American artists who were taking inspiration from the French artists at the time and okay. putting their own unique spin and expression on this um, wonderful movement. So I should be more specific. This is American Impressionism, yep. not, not just what the French were doing. We got our own. Exactly. I, I picture a lot of landscapes. I Lots picture of a, landscapes. Yeah, a lot of sure. sweeping vistas in this type of stuff. So uh, it's been going for a while now. I mean, it's going on uh, till the end of August, is that right? Yep, so you have the rest of the summer to check it out. Well, all right, so what do we expect when we, when we come to the Gram for this? So there's a lot to see. There <laughs> is 130 different artworks from over 70 different artists, um, some of which include, but are not limited to, Georgia Ness, Lila Cabot Perry, John Sloan, Thomas Moran, the list goes on and on. Um, they all come with wonderful paintings and drawings and prints um, from all across the country. So we have wonderful coastal regions displayed. We have uh, works from the deserts of the American West. We have snow-capped mountain pieces. So really, there's something for everyone to enjoy. So I'm stuck looking at my screen right now because we're seeing a lot of cool examples <laughs> right? of those paintings. <laughs> so this all comes from the, the Bank of America collection. All right, This is where these paintings and prints and all this artwork came from, Renee. How does that happen? It's an incredible opportunity for us. So what we call the Art in Our Communities program is a way for Bank of America to share all the art that it's accumulated over the past hundred years. So you think of all the predecessor banks that have come together to make Bank of America, it led to a collection that we then make available to over 140 museums across the country in a way to invite in our local communities and understand our art, understand our culture. I think that's something that most of us probably don't associate with Bank of America, right? We, we, we think of mortgages or we think of credit cards, but we don't think of this big art collection. Why, why are you offering this up? Well, we really believe that um, first and foremost, we want to be a meaningful part of our community. We want to be a driver of the economy. We want to be a, a force to educate and enrich. And the best way that we know to do that is to share art. And so we partnered with the Graham to bring together this special collection, and it really is quite something. Yeah, uh, it's a wonderful experience. Um, and and by doing that, we're doing a couple different things. One, we're creating vital revenue for our world-class museum that is the Graham. Second, we're bringing people together, and then that creates conversations. And we believe that that's part of being a vibrant, healthy community. And how can we, by the way, did you mention how many pieces we're looking at here? I heard there were hundreds. 130. 130 mm -hmm. different pieces to look at. Wow. So this could be a full afternoon, full day yes, for at the sure. Gram. It's a whole second floor. Whole second floor. Second floor. <laughs> okay. Yes. So just, just, just go right up to the second floor once you get there, because that's, <laughs> that's where all the action's happening. How can we get there? And uh, what are the hours? And I know that the Gram always offers some good specials for families here in West Michigan. Yes, we do. We have a variety of different pricing for different people, so definitely check out our website for that. But general admission is $10 for adults. Mm -hmm. Um, and that does give you access to not only the Impressionism exhibition, but the entire museum as a whole. So, and there's a lot more to see on top of the exhibition. Um, the, we are open every Tuesday um, from 12 to 6, and that is actually a Meyer free day. So anybody coming can get free admission. So that's wonderful. And then on Thursdays, we are also open from 12 to 9, and we have some more fr Meyer free hours from 5 to 9. So definitely come if you want some free admission. And we are also open Fridays and Saturdays from 10 to 4. Absolutely, even on the weekends. So you want to check it out. As you heard, if you got a large family, I want to save some bucks. There are some free family days. Thank you so much to Bank of America for partnering with the Graham and offering up this great exhibition. Thank you for your time, Yuela. Thanks for today. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Grand Rapids Art Museum, that's the place to go now through August 27th. If you want a little preview, artmuseumgr.org. Make a day of it and check out the In a New Light American Impressionism 1870 to 1940 exhibit happening right now. We'll be right back.